So here's the thing. I know nothing about what we're about to do. I don't even know how much I'll sleep. I don't know how often we're seeing Ian. I don't know what that, I don't know anything. It's gonna be a ride, I guess. We're packing. Our flight is delayed. I'm bringing way too much stuff. And I just ordered pad thai. <laughs> These are bags. What? I'm showing our bags. Oh, yeah. The really important precious cargo. Okay. Okay, tell us what you packed. Okay, I have warm hat, sun hat, mm -hmm. PJs, denim. Nice. Important. Um, waffle, sweats, leggings. I've got two big t-shirts, like long, like athletics, long sleeve. Then two pairs of like shorts, three tank tops, then like long sleeve jeans and a t-shirt and a long sleeve that I could wear just like casually. Mm -hmm. A bunch of like hiking socks, sports bras, underwear. Here we go. <laughs> Heading to the airport now. Our flight's super delayed. But we were bored at home, so we're going really early. I'm so late. Did you hear that kid? Yeah. Let's see what Las Vegas has to offer. What do you think Las Vegas has to offer us still? <laughs> Not for very long though. <laughs> I'm not asking for a lot. <laughs> Trusty steed. Woo. Holy crap. Dill turned to me and was like, we're surrounded by Lochi C8. <laughs> I actually had that same thought. Holy crap. Alright, where to next? Bagels. Breakfast. Okay. What are you eating? <laughs> Bagel sandwich with locks. Potato salad. Nice. Got a bagel for the ride. Nice. Grocery store. You what? I want the Pringles. Oh, okay. That's what we can have the salt bitter. It has so much extra food. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is a lot of food. I feel like this is a lot of food. <laughs> Such a weird amount of food. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think Zion's just gonna get prettier. Okay. Like, this isn't even... This is nothing? This is nothing. Don't. Do you know where we're going? Yeah. I literally know. Have you ever seen a picture of where we're going? That's what the crew is for. <laughs> Thinking of things proactively. Yep. Can you think it only vegan running? <laughs> I'm definitely not the only vegan running. <laughs> really? You might be the fastest kind of... vegan though. No. What's your strategy on the day? What do I They say to eat Pringles? No, no, no. Carbolo? Carbolo. Oh, oh, oh. I'm carboloading on Pringle. So, <laughs> <laughs> what are we preparing with? I always put a little heart around my 
<laughs> you should. <laughs> Talk strategy to us, Ian. What's happening? Uh, I'm just trying to put together products for. Because there's no. I don't want another snafu like last time where I'm not clear on what I want. So I'm just trying to make bags for you guys. Like what, what's important. So it's more comfortable because it's just like there's nothing extra going on. But it's smaller. I'm not sure. Oh, that one's not that much bigger. No, it's, it's I was picturing like a camelback. No, 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 it's it's like basically the same. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just use this one right now. That's like risky. The double zips yeah. really nice. But this is what I use to tie off the trekking poles. Yeah. These things, and that one doesn't have it. Whatever, I'll just wear this. The what? I said that's the one I wanted. <laughs> yeah, this is all you care about is style. <laughs> it's like so much in the back. Look at this. Are you worried about what people behind me think? <laughs> <laughs> They're so different. But it's just like an empty sack on the back. Oh, yeah. You see? It's, it's like totally fine. It's literally just a style thing, which. Okay, I see your point. Okay, yeah, but all the people who see from behind, they're slower than you. Desert shoes, socks. Desert socks. Nice. The fast, the hair. And the tortoise. And the tortoise. And the tortoise. Just oh, you got both. Yeah. Trust it. Okay. It's my shirt. Oh, you're going to Montana. Shout out, Steph. Yeah. Shout out, Steph. Shout out, Steph. Talk to us about this strategy. What is the pre-game meal? This is vegan. <laughs> this is being a vegan ultra marathoner. Uh, this is just plain tofu with soy sauce for protein. And then some noodles with pesto. <laughs> it's not actually vegan because I don't have cheese. Close. Virgin Desert, do you think you'll get there at between 11 and 1? So we can actually sleep for a while here. We just need to check out by 11. Yeah. So we can sleep from like 5.30 to 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, like 9.30, get four more hours of sleep. Probably get there before like by like 10.30 at the earliest. Do you think you'd be faster than fast pace in any case? Fast pace is like... Let me see what the actual pace is. It's like really fast. Yeah, there's, okay. So there's definitely a chance I'll be there. Okay, so we'll try to be there by 10. Like it's just the first one really that matters because mm -hmm. then we'll be updating our like mental model every time. Every time. By yeah. what time he actually got yeah. there. This is, this is Goosebump. Oh, so down. then that's the straight down. That's it's straight. like five to three. It's like almost one and a half K probably mm -hmm. within, within like a mile and a half. So that's like really, really steep. I don't know, in the description, they said a, like most of it, they were talking about it as being runnable. So anything that's like runnable should not need trekking poles. I think I'll just get a gauge from the initial the terrain, one, yeah. like what it's gonna be like, and then knowing that I'll be 50 miles in at that point. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like totally possible that I go pretty fast for the first like half of the race or something and then I just like paced incorrectly and then I'm like using trekking poles and hiking more in like yeah. the second half. I don't know. Which yeah. We'll just gauge it. Yeah. I have literally no idea how this can go. Yay. A little bit of a hike. So I'm back as a lot. I really wanna stay up and watch that show. <laughs> It's really difficult to force myself to get sleep right now. Dill, any thoughts for the morning? Mm. Uh, you don't have to wake up with the trees. I am glad I don't. I'm not. I'm not worried about it right here. Wow, I don't believe you. No, I'm serious. Um, this is my career. I ate a whole block of tofu and <laughs> a bunch of pesto pasta, so I'm feeling great. Uh, Fuel. Fuel. 
Right. Light. I don't know if I poop before running. Let's see. That's all she wrote. Morning. Say so what you eating? Overnight oats, soaked with the stuff. <laughs> Just protein. Uh, I fell asleep really fast, actually. Oh, right. And then, um, like, I woke up at two and was like, ready for a Two, yeah. A couple hours. But I feel pretty good right now. Great. <laughs> That's like what we've been waiting for. <laughs> I'm glad it came from you. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. You, you were supposed to learn the banjo like three years ago. <laughs> three jobs ago. <laughs> three jobs ago. <laughs> three or sure. five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to get into running. <laughs> You could have mastered the banjo by now if <laughs> you put the same hours in. <laughs> What do you think, Dill? How are you feeling? Are you nervous? No. <laughs> Not nervous at all. Just excited. <laughs> are you guys ready? Let's go! Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Good luck. Have fun. Give us the best effort out there. come through so far it's 9 22 and the city's close the city's close so we're just sore. waiting and we didn't miss him so that's we did not miss win. him <laughs> we're prepping the items that he wants the weather. Plus, we need to do that. Yeah, this tuna. Like eat as much as possible Until, while your yeah, while your yeah, stomach's yeah, good and your mouth know. is wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. This course is so easy, like, grade-wise. Go, you go. Go, you go. Here it goes. We're on a hike. Just walking. 
pretty hot. We're realizing Anne's probably very hot. The sun <laughs> is strong. No clouds. No tree coverage. Um, yeah, no coverage at all. We made some friends in the parking lot. They liked the way that we parked. <laughs> and they all fall in it. Yep. That's the update. <laughs> That's it. Just for you guys, uh, Molly and Dill. Uh, first vlog of the day. Making sure nobody can see me because I'm embarrassed. But it's pretty freaking nice. I'm like 33, 34 miles in. Feeling really good. Uh, yeah, running and running uphill. Yeah, body feels good. Um, feeling a craving or a hankering for some NCs. and like kind of at the head of the pack ish mile 50 prep picking bowls baggies those are for ice. ice it's hot spf spf lip chapstick some more chews nerd clusters A good variety gave, gave the assortment after our taste test we decided every every flavor is good two extra sweatbands that will likely cover in water another tuna another tuna another cup of noodle hopefully it's cold by the time he gets here sunscreen he hasn't requested pringles but we have them ready and then electrolytes are pre-prepped that's it coming yeah five people so far expecting him in probably 25 or 30 yeah Oh, I feel so like a proud mom. <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo, woo. How are you doing? Oh, hot. hot. Yeah. Okay. Holy crap, it's hot. I'm like, my body feels really good, but I can feel the heat. Like, Apparently, the girl that was in first dropped out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like trying to moderate because I feel my like, heart. Do you want to have electrolytes that didn't fit the thing if you want to chug something about it? Oh, sweet. Um, Coke. Thank you. I'm going to try to stay here for less than 10 minutes. Yep. The next part is a big climb. Uh, well, you're so hot. Okay. I'm putting your... We only have three left of these. Uh, Do you want uh, honey stinger goose or yes, goose? Please. Okay, I'll go grab some and then we got you some NCs. Do you want those in the pocket here? Yeah, thank you. We tried all the flavors, they're all really good. Nice. Uh, you're gonna be surprised by the yellow texture. It's different. Yeah, they're like different. Uh, but you'll enjoy them. Hot. Pickle juice and oh. a pickle? And then putting two more Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
31. Uh, Ian left about 20 minutes ago. That's during mile 51. We're thriving here. We're having a great time. This is amazing. The, and the shade some, of the car. Sock tans. Yeah, check happening. the sand sock tan. Really good. Mine's Dylan's is pretty stark. Pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> also, you could definitely just see all my leg hairs. So that's really nice. Fans. Six twenty-four. Uh, first couple of people have come in, so we're thinking Ian's gonna come in at the seventy-minute mark or at the seventy-mile mark in the next twenty or thirty minutes, soonish. Soonish. Um, we haven't heard from him though, but we've got um, we've got the stuff prepped here. We've got everything prepped. Okay. Good song to come into. Wow. Woo! Go Ian! Woo! How are we doing? Mile 70, how do you feel? <laughs> Mile 70 and it's still light out. And it's still light out. The sun is shining. It is golden hour. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Ian. <laughs> Ian, we are locked in. We We're are doing the math. <laughs> Woo! Style. Do it in style, baby. Chug that coke. <laughs> okay, bye. Woo! Woo! Success. What do you think, Joe? No, that's for He's crushing it. <laughs> um, the update is we found out about driving into this little place from the head of the aid station, who was a very nice man. Stunning. Just look at that. Beautiful. Honestly, back that way too. It's it's very pretty. Beautiful. But the oh, this this is a better view. Right here. Pop that's of color. It. That's it. Um, Ian did a 70, as you just saw, probably. Um, and we're gonna go rush and meet him for 80. Woo! Yay! Woo, woo, woo! My cows. <laughs> <laughs> he has a cow bell and everything. <laughs> oh, this is really beautiful. It's just truly so stunning, but like, look at, <laughs> look at the bugs. dead bugs on my windshield. It's 9.15, we just saw, um, we're waiting for Ian at mile 80. There's no aid station here, so we're kind of just sitting in the dark um, with Austin's lanterns. Um, shout out. Shout out Austin, thank you for supplying all of the chairs. Um, they've made us very comfortable this trip. Um, but we just saw the Starlink train going through the sky, which is very significant because last time Ian ran 100 miles through the night, he saw the Starlink but didn't know what they were. So came in super hot to the aid station at like midnight or 2 a.m. saying he saw this like train of stars through the sky <laughs> and literally nobody believed him. Um, and this time we saw them, but now we know what they are. Expecting He's gonna Ian come on this road. In the next like hour or so. That We're all ramen. prepped. Ramen is tuna. becoming lukewarm. His tuna. Electrolytes and water. Got his um, lanterns. Water. water, coke, and goose. We're in socks and chacos. Style. Ooh. So waiting. It says, our map says he's like half a mile away. So we shouldn't see a light in the distance we soon. We didn't see a light yet. It is en route. Amped. This is the aid station. <laughs> is that Ian? Another blob. Oh. 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 <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we weren't sure if it was you. <laughs> Woo! All right. That was like super speed. Yeah. You're doing. You're looking way better than the guy that's in second. You're in third, by the way. That's what people keep on telling me. They can't catch up to him. It's okay. You're doing you're doing so good. Podium. Podium, here we come. Go Ian. Left. 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 You got it. Woo woo woo! Woo-hoo! Right. 
What's up, subscribers? <laughs> <laughs> hey, party people. <laughs> It's 10 p.m. and it's just tuna time. It's tuna time. I'm helping you, my pants. Deli style tuna. What kind of tuna are you <laughs> I'm helping you lemon pepper, which could be really dry. <laughs> it's gonna be a tuna night. <laughs> it's a tuna night, not. We just saw Ian at the 80 mile mark. He's looking oh, this is <laughs> Yeah, compared to the deli style, which is like mm. creamy. It tastes good, but it's not creamy. Yeah, lemon pepper is drier than ranch, too. This, what I'm eating right now, is what Ian's been eating, which is like more soupy. <laughs> <laughs> but compare and contrast. He doesn't want the lemon pepper. Mm mm. No way. Honestly, of of the stops so far, that was my least favorite. <laughs> is it so fast? <laughs> it was so fast. We, like, barely, he, he I was, feel like I like at this point we've gotten it down to like a science, and I don't feel like we're doing anything when he comes by. <laughs> Except for one mistake. Like we, we had made, it all prepped. One mistake we made at the last one was. Molly, did, I did the electrolyte water, and Molly did the other water, and then I tried to redo the other water as if it wasn't already full. <laughs> you didn't trust me. I just didn't know. He has 20 more miles. It's gonna probably be a while until we see him at the finish. Because 20 miles is a long time. It is a long time. It's a, almost a marathon. And Ian was still kind of jogging. He was moving. I'm here for the tuna. <laughs> at the finish line. At the finish line. We're ready for Ian. It's almost 3 a.m. Woo! <laughs> okay. We think that's him. It's Little Beacon. Bumping. San Francisco is Woo! his home. It's Ian Hayashi Jones. Yeah. Oh Ian <laughs> will finish on the podium in the 100 mile race as our third place finisher. Ian, you've got a couple of, of tasks ahead of you right now. Number one is, uh, is picking out your belt buckle. You get the third pick of the belt buckles for our 100 mile finishers as our third place finisher. Woo! So that is a very important task. And then we're going to hand Ian the mallet. The mallet. The Ryan mallet. Whoa. And Ian gets a spin at the 100 mile gong. Oh, come on. Give it more than that. Woo! Woo! Oh, that is a sweet sound indeed. We did it. You Thanks, did guys. it. You Just did it. So much. Yeah. It's 4 a.m. Ian has been done for an hour. Any remarks? He can't get out of his chair. Congratulations, friend. Congratulations. Are you sure you don't want to go to the medical tent, though? I was really expecting your feet to look grosser. Yeah. 
Like, they're dusty. But, like, do you even have blisters? Yeah, between the toes are pretty gross. Or, like, dirty. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I just got a floss. There's like kind of like gunk gunk in there. We're sleeping in the car tonight. Um, Ian's fully cocooned. We canceled our Airbnb. <laughs> we canceled our Airbnb in case Ian hit his goal time of 9 a.m. <laughs> so now we have Stupid. to sleep. Good morning. It's Sunday. <laughs> Ian's alive. Can you see him? <laughs> yes. Um, that's, that's it. <laughs> I feel like I'm rusty. I need to like... You're like the oil, tin man. Oil the joints. You're the tin man! You would not believe what I found in here. What? Okay, it's not that crazy. Uh, He's a candy corn. No way. <laughs> Actually? Yeah. Where? Lotus. Oh. What? <laughs> Is it good? Does it taste like regular candy corn? Yeah. Perfectly normal. Good morning, you. <laughs> Wait, Molly, get it glowing. <laughs> From the front, do you see? <laughs> Ew, that's yeah. so gross. <laughs> so gnarly. <laughs> chair unsupported, which is huge. I have a mini fever. Legs are swollen, feet are swollen. Legs are swollen. Got my new glory sweats on and they're way too small. That's the update. That's the update. Okay, bye. It's been two weeks and a day since the race. Today's April 30th. And we realized that we never closed it out. We never closed the loop. Ian recovered very very quickly i would say very quickly from from our learnings of this time the things that we need to make sure that we have on the next ultra are chairs are definitely yeah. a necessity the chairs were huge we were like kind of like ah, oh, should we bring them or not and we brought them and thank god we did mm -hmm. nerd clusters were huge for um crew for morale, crew morale. I would say. nerd clusters were imperative tuna and ramen seemed to work for ian's really meals. well yeah Sunscreen? Nobody got sunburned? Oh, yeah. Okay. We also were lucky this time that our Airbnb had those reusable forks. From a crew stance, we're ready for the oh, next one. We've got a checklist. We do have a checklist of what we Items can do better. Improved. Some sort of matching hat. Yeah. <laughs> matching Could be bucket hat, hat. Ian's running an ultra again. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that's a good one. Okay, yeah. Maybe we should get AJ to design one. Oh, Ooh, he's going to be pretty. That's fun. Second, cowbell. Cowbell. Molly and I, we can be very loud. We can cheer. We're doing our best. But imagine how elevated we would be with, with a, cowbell. a cowbell. The other thing that we had on the list, getting like a water bottle full of bone broth. For Ian. Oh, yes, the bone broth. Like having so something salty drink. that he can drink while running. Because he was only having sweet wall running. I think we did a great job. <laughs> and so did Ian, I guess. He wouldn't be there without us, you know? <laughs> <laughs>
And that's it. And Until that's, next time. that's it. <laughs> when are we running another hundred in? August. Wait, we need to procure a cowbell then. Yeah, we need to get on that.